On News 5, a local man may still be alive tonight if the career criminal accused of killing him had been where he was supposed to be in jail. Tonight, the victim's family spoke exclusively with News 5's Megan Hickey about the failed system that led them to heartbreak. Bittersweet justice tonight for the family of Antonio Dukes, eager to hear of a break in the case, but crushed to learn that it could have been prevented. Everybody gets second chances. We hope for the best, but obviously he did not learn his lesson. Antonio Dukes's family stunned by today's news. 23 year old Devante Randleman charged with aggravated murder and robbery more than five months after Dukes was found shot to death in the driveway of this Sheffield apartment complex. We've been praying for justice and we got some. But it was the suspect's long criminal history that brought more tears to this grieving mother's eyes. Just it crushed me. It still crushed me because they shouldn't have let him out of prison. According to court records, Randleman already served a five year prison term for aggravated robbery and felonious assault. He wasn't supposed to be out for another month, but was released on parole a full year early. But then he got back out and still did the same thing. And he didn't learn a lesson after five years. That's really sad. I don't think any of this would have happened. Tonight, the family is still happy for some justice, especially for Duke's three-year-old son, who never got the chance to know his dad. Just knowing somebody's paying for this crime makes it easier for me. It was a packed house in Lorain County Court for Randleman's hearing. Still no word tonight on a motive. In Elyria, Megan Hickey, News 5.